In this tutorial, we're going to go through the budget chart steps, and rather than give you step-by-step -step instructions, I'll show you what it is that I'd like you to create, and then have you create that along with me. Step-by-step, -step, it might not work as well for something like this. So here's what you're trying to do. Um, I actually left off the title here, but uh, we are going to be creating a chart that gives us our annual sales by category. So um, in other words, what we are looking to do here is we're looking to create a chart that tells us what we've sold in one year. Uh, as you can see here, my group counseling and individual counseling are my largest sales categories with donations being the smallest slice, um, less than 5%. So I am going to delete this chart for now so that we can recreate it. First thing that I am going to do is I'm going to highlight some data here. I'm going to highlight right here in total sales. That is what I'd like to make a chart from. And then I'm just going to click on the little insert chart tab right here. And already it gives me an example of what a chart looks like, except I do not want this kind of a, a chart with a, a line. Uh, I would much rather have a pie chart for this particular instance. So I'm just going to switch to pie over here. And for this time, I'll pick this nice 3D option. So it looks good here, uh, except that what I find here is I have no labels. So that's what I want to add to this. I want this to tell me what each of these slices of the pie refer to. I could probably figure that out at this point, but I would much rather see it right on my chart. It's a much cleaner look. So to do this, I'm going to need to add the cells into my data range here. So this might look a little complicated at first, but what this is telling me is what Google Sheets is taking and putting into the chart. And the only thing it's putting into the chart now is E3 through, that's what the colon means, E6. So I would like it to put in my data labels as well. And so here's what I'm going to type in. Behind the exclamation point, I'm going to add in A3. So you can still see that part of the chart here. So starting with the label here, category items, a3 through with a colon A8. And then I'm just going to put a comma in between those two. And once I do that, you can see that I will get these labels on each of my um, legend colors over here. And that's what I wanted to tell me what my chart was actually referring to. So I also have some options over here if I go to Customize. And for Customize here, I can add a title, which is what I failed to do at the beginning there. So Annual Sales by Category. I can also choose where I'd like things to appear. I can have my legend be down. You know, I don't like it there at the top because you can't really see it. I don't really like it at the bottom because I'd have to scroll over to see what these other things are. So to the right hand side seems like the most logical place to have it. Could also change my background color if I want to add just a little bit of a feel to that. I'll just add gray for right now. And of course I can change my font. Just change it to courier for right now. I could even change what I want my slices to say. There's the total amount of money that appears for each. And you can see if I just click on these, for these smaller slices, it, uh, it will give me those if I hover there. Or I could even add labels, and almost none of them are big enough. So I'm going to stick to percentage. And the only one that doesn't show is uh, this 4.1 percent which is donations um, and if you hover you know you get the exact percentage amount as well so we've got our chart all 
ready to go and now I'm just going to click on insert and it sits here right in the middle of my table now which I don't like so much so what I'm going to do next is I am going to move this chart to its own sheet so that now I have a sheet that just has this chart on it and it looks a little cleaner than sitting in the middle of another chart so I'm just gonna label that tab annual sales chart so that you would also have a third tab right there on this document okay let me know if you have any questions on that moving forward.